everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg, and today I'm going to tell you the three swaps that you can make to cut your trash by 80%. So excited because today's video is sponsored by Arbor Teas, which is my preferred tea brand of choice. I absolutely love Arbor Teas. You've probably heard me talk about them before. They're one of the only places that I know of where you can get completely plastic-free matcha. I love their matcha, but today I'm currently drinking their organic English breakfast tea, and it is delicious. They package all of their stuff in backyard compostable packaging, which I think is awesome. That way, if you don't have access to an industrial facility, you can take these tea bags, you can put them in your backyard. They sell loose leaf tea and it's packaged in cellulose. And by switching from what they were using to cellulose, they were able to reduce the emissions by 60%. Sustainability is the focus of everything they do. Many of their teas being sourced from organic biodynamic farms and all of their shipments and their, their facility is solar powered. Their shipments are offset carbon neutral. I'm a huge fan. I'm currently drinking the organic English breakfast tea, which is one of my all time favorites. So thank you so much Arbor Teas for sponsoring this. I'm going to leave more information about them down below. Oh, and they have plastic free matcha. I don't know of many brands that offer plastic free matcha, but they do. So if you love matcha, I love matcha. They are also my matcha brand of choice too. So like I said, I'm going to leave more down in the description box below, but let's get to the three easy ways for you to reduce your trash by 80%. So in waste audits, a lot of the things that are most common, the top three are typically pretty standard. So the first way that you can reduce your trash, which is the biggest way is to compost. On average, 60% of an American family's household trash is actually organic matter that could be composted. So that one simple swap is definitely going to put a huge dent in what you throw away. If you're interested in more videos on how to compost, let me know. I will say I am not the best composter. I'm going to be totally honest about it. But it's better to be a bad composter than not compost at all. On the bright side, though, I have tried almost every type of composting and I do feel like I have at least some good insight on which one might work best for you. I tried the worm bin because I thought I would love it. Unfortunately, I have sent 2,000 worms to worm heaven. May they rest in peace. Compost is organic matter. So basically you can compost a lot of stuff like hair, nail clippings, organic tampons, cotton. So if you have like old cotton sheets and let's say they get some holes in them, then you take them, you make produce bags out of them and they don't work for produce bags anymore. You can cut them smaller. You can use them as handkerchiefs and cleaning rags. And then at the end, the very, very end of their life, when they're barely holding on for anything, you can take that cotton and you can put it in your compost bin and it will turn back into soil which is awesome. I think composting is super cool. So yes, number one, compost. Number two, food packaging is something that is a pr pretty common item. Groceries are one of those things that we shop for a lot. We go to the grocery store on average once a week. So it would, you would only assume that that means that a large bulk of your trash is going to be made up of food packaging. I know that this is kind of a tough one because not everyone has access to package free food. So you can really only do the best that you can in this situation. But I think that one of the best ways to eliminate a lot of packaging, whether you have access to a bulk store or not, is to simply eat a diet made up of more fresh foods. And I know that's easier said than done depending on your budget and where you live, but I have personally found that vegetables to be one of the cheaper items to buy and grains compared to dairy and meat. So try and center your meals around plants and around vegetables. Fruit I find to be typically pretty expensive really look for vegetable forward meals. And I think you will save money and you'll be able to reduce your packaging because often these things can be found package free. And if you do have, you know, bulk section, typically they do have a very robust grains area like granola or rice. They probably don't have baking staples, but they do have, you know, grains and nuts, seeds, legumes, like garbanzo beans, black beans, and these are, you know, good sources of protein as well that are that are fairly inexpensive. So that's kind of what I personally would opt for 
when trying to reduce the food packaging footprint that I have. Just by simply cutting out some of those processed foods, you're gonna just have less, less trash and less waste. And the third thing that I typically find in everyone's trash can, paper towels. It's time. It's time for you and paper towels to sit down and have a chat and it's time for you guys to break up. It is not as hard as you think, I promise. I did a whole video called Six Tips for Ditching Paper Towels. You can check that out. I will link that above. I think it's here or below. And I think that you'll find that you can easily live your life without paper towels. So those are the three tips. Seriously, those three things, you will be able to reduce your trash by about 80%, which I think is awesome. And isn't it nice knowing that you can do so much by also kind of doing so little. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, a huge shout out and thank you to Arbor Teas for sponsoring this post. Please check them out as well, especially if you're a tea lover like me. And I will see you guys, oh, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye.